Let's look at using isometric dot paper. Let's create a sticky in geometry. Now geometry lets you um, create lots of great things. One of the new features, or one of the features I just found was you have uh, the option of using different types of grids. You've got the regular coordinate grid, which currently is not turned on. Uh, you have dot grids and you have isometric grids. Isometric grids are really good for helping students see in three dimensions. Um, so I use this with my students and uh, they have trouble seeing and drawing in three dimensions. Some of them will often say that they, uh, they just can't see the three-dimensional space. So right now what I'm selecting is I select an isometric grid. I want to turn my grid on, leave my axes off and leave the label off. I want to go ahead and snap, which is going to snap um, anytime I'm uh, slightly off. If you're fixed, it will be fixed on the uh, actual lattice points and lines, so either one of those. I'll go with fixed for now and uh, we'll see how that goes. Labeling is also turned off. I don't want to have um, too many labels floating around. I, I just want to focus on the picture itself. I'll select OK. I'm going to expand my isometric grid paper. You could also zoom by clicking inside and zooming in and out. But I'll leave it the way it is. So let's start creating. So I'll select the segment tool and I want to create a box. So just going around the box. Notice I I can only snap. That's what the fixed tool lets me do is it will only let me stay within the uh, actual axes of the um, isometric paper. If you are on snap, snap will let you freeform anywhere you want, but when you uh, move to a specific location, it'll snap to the actual lattice point. So now I'm going to create a smaller box that comes out and finish off the last few pieces here. And I will create a box that comes off the front face of it. Again, just going around clicking. So there's a uh, three-dimensional figure I've got there. Uh, what's nice about the isometric paper as I zoom out is uh, the figure stays as it is. Now, when I go back to selecting, there is an activity out there that uh, if you Google, it's Google something like top left right or um, left right center or something along those lines where you're looking at different pictures that are either isometric or you can build this with cubes and then the challenge is to try to find out if you can tell how that's made so using actual cubes could you duplicate this picture so here's another way you can do that same activity is if you look at this and try to Imagine I'm looking at this from the top, so we want students to be able to visualize what things look like. So if I'm looking at this figure from the top, and I'm just using some freeform tool here, so I've got a smaller box that's coming off the front end of it, and it looks like I also have something that's coming off of this end. This helps um, you visualize what this is looking like from different uh, points of view. Uh, the other thing is if you look at it from the front, if I look at it from the front, I have a rectangle. And you could use the freehand pencil to uh, try to do this and sometimes you it may be easier to do that. So looking at it from the front this should be what I see. So this is uh, just using the isometric dot paper to try to come up with different points of view um, to imagine that you could pick this object up and rotate it around and move it and have different looks at it. So that's um, a couple of uses on isometric dot paper. Um, see what you can do with it.